start socializing with people, man. Come out of your shell, you know, especially when you're on this journey of self-improvement, you're too focused on your own routine, your own cycle. You don't connect with anyone, busy with work, but we're social beings. We need to socialize with other people to improve our communication skills, to improve ourselves. So that's what I'm gonna break down in today's video. But before I get started, man, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit the red subscribe button, and make sure to leave a comment down below on anything that you get from this video. So you need to come out of your shell, man. Like being stuck in this cycle, you may think that you're making progress and you're focusing on yourself and you don't like people, social anxiety, whatever, all of that shit is. Like, but you need to come out of your shell. You just being stuck in the work cycle, stuck just going to work, to school, and doing the same routine over and over again, and not interacting with people, especially new people, is a big mistake. Because through interactions is where you build relationships, business partners, you know, and learn. You understand? So everybody got this idea of solo. Everybody wants to do things by themselves. Oh, I'm gonna make it by myself. I'm gonna build this business by myself. Oh, I'm living in my own world. I'm, I'm in my own head. But that's just a selfish mentality. At the end of the day, you're one of 8 billion people. You understand? Just like in the animal kingdom, they have a herd, they have a tribe, they have a community. So you thinking that you're gonna live your life by yourself or just these one, two, three people in your life and then that's it. It's a huge mistake because you can tap into so many different people, so many different, you know, minds and in order to better yourself and also to help other people. You understand? So new relationships are there. They're literally around the corner. You could speak to a guy, maybe from work or maybe for someone in the gym or someone you come across and that. And that could be a close friend of you, yours and that. That could be a life, a potentially a lifetime friend. A lot of people like to, like... Oh, this, I got my day one friends and these are my friends that I knew since I was five years old and these are the people for the rest of my life. No, she'll always be welcome to bring people in. That doesn't mean bring everyone in, but if someone meets the requirements of what you consider a friend, then why, why not communicate? Why, do you, why are you secluding yourself in, that, in a corner, in a place? You, you get where I'm coming from? So that again, new relationships around the corner, you can speak to a, a girl. That could be your potential wife. You know, you can speak to this guy. He could be a potential business partner. You can speak to this person. See, everybody knows something that you don't know. Just look at it like that. Every single person knows something that you don't know. So if you do not speak to people, new people, or you just stick to the people who you know, you're limiting your access. You're limiting your information. Each person that you speak to is going to give you something that you, again, have not yet acquired. So the more variety of people you speak to, the more variety of people from all walks of life that you come in contact with, you're just adding to your knowledge, bro. <laughs> you're just leveling up. You understand? Because there's a limit to what each person in your life right now can tell you. Let's be honest, most people in your life tell you the same shit every single day. They talk about the same shit. They're limited to their categories. Maybe this is a gym guy, this guy is a flipping social media guy, this guy talks about the news or whatever, whatever. So add more people. That doesn't mean you need to be best friends, you need to hang out sleep over or some shit like that, bro. But at least, you know, it's a different dynamic that you're putting into your circle. You understand? And like I said, each person you're gonna learn from. And you also build confidence. The more different people you talk to, it's a very important skill to have. It's a very important survival skill to have, to be able to talk to anyone, to be able to talk to different types of people, to be approachable, to understand emotional intelligence. Like, you learn from peaking to, well, you learn from being outside your comfort zone and each person you speak to is taking you outside your comfort zone because you don't know them. You don't know their world. You don't know their perspectives. You understand? So it's very, very important to put yourself out there and communicate with different variety of people. You understand? Now, building your confidence is very important for that reason. How can you be confident? How, of course, you got social anxiety. You've never spoken to anyone new for the last 10 years. Of course, you have social anxiety. Of course, you're shy. How, how can you not be shy when you have not spoken to anyone different outside of these three, five, or six, or ten people? How, how, like, shyness is going to be part of your character because you've limited yourself to this group of people. So, again, challenge yourself. We go through challenges. We go through overcoming obstacles or fears. You understand? It's not as scary as you think. People are very approachable. People are there's very nice people out there. You understand? If you approach someone in a positive and a calm manner, no one's going to come act in a certain way with you because you're doing it correctly. But if you're coming on an arrogant vibe or you're just 
full of yourself or you know provocative then of course it can turn into what it can turn into but as long as your approach is positive and you have positive intentions every person is open you'd be surprised how open people are so again remember that we are social beings we are human beings we rely on each other you cannot do this by yourself you cannot create this magical career by itself. Eventually you need people. When you look at big corporations, Amazon, you hear Jeff Bezos, how many people work with him or under him? Thousands and thousands and thousands. Elon Musk, the tech genius. How many people? You think he's the one that's pulling all the strings? No, he might be the CEO of it, but he has support, he has a network, he has a community that's helping him. You know, so you, in the same way you can build your own community, you can be part of a community. That's what I always encourage you guys, join the Discord group, you know, there's a community, people on a self-improvement journey, people want to improve themselves, you understand? It's very important, this solo life and that, do each, each, each for the all, free for all, or whatever you want to call it, it's not going to get you far. Eventually you need someone who knows something that you don't know. Especially if you're going into business, especially if you're going into, you know, higher things. If you just want to go to work and go back home and eat your little food and that and go to little gym sessions and watching Netflix and that, then okay, I guess don't talk to no one. But if you want to be part of something bigger, if you want to elevate yourself, reach your full potential, you, you, you're going to soon realize that you need people to work with, to help you, and you need to help them. You know, community is important. Especially now in the West, people have lost the sense of community. It's each for their own. People don't want to collaborate. They don't want to come together. Everyone's focused on their goals, about achieving, getting their financial means, you know, becoming who they want to be. And they don't care about what anyone else is doing. You know, they act like they care in the social environments and that, but in reality, it's true caring is actually coming together for a collective good. When you look at since ancient times, em empires, occults, tribes, there was togetherness, there's a unity, everyone's pushing. If you're, if, if you're pushing a car right now by yourself, it's difficult. If you've got four or five people pushing the car, it's going to move. You understand? Look at it in that sense. Stop looking at it like solo, solo. Yeah, everybody, you know, YOLO. I don't know, I don't know what, what type of phrase people use these days, but, but it doesn't make sense, bro. You're not going to get far at all. And not only are you going to learn from people, you can also teach people. Some things that you've experienced, some knowledge you have, you can share that. One of the best feelings in the world is to help people. Let's say you've overcome anxiety and then you see someone suffering with anxiety, you can offer some words of wisdom that's going to help them. That in itself is a natural instinct that we all have. You have the desire to help people. If not, I don't know. Maybe you're working with Satan, I don't know, <laughs> you know? Maybe you're working with the devil, but naturally as a human being, you have a desire to help people. So you sharing your experience, you talking to people, you can give them something that they did not know. You can share information that's going to change their life. You understand? And before you know it, you find yourself on a path of maybe self-improvement, maybe making videos, doing some, you know, things for the greater good. You know, that's what we're one human race. It's a one human race. Regardless of the religion, the races, the tribes, whatever, one human race. And of course, we would divide ourselves into religion, into race, into geographical locations, but we're one. And together, we rise, divided, we fall, as they say. So build a community. You can join a community, you can build a community, but, you know, keep communicating with all others. And you don't need to do this all the time. I'm not telling you to every single day, talk to somebody new every single day. Nah, of course you have your own life, your own individualistic goals and what you want to achieve. But it's very important to make time to connect with others. Like I said, that new business partner, that new friend, that new partner, that new whoever is literally around the corner. Could be your neighbor, bro. Could be that guy in the gym. Could be the girl in the gym. Could be, you know? The person who you're avoiding to talk to, especially if they're like-minded. And I'm not saying talk to anyone, talk to the people who you resonate with and that, you know? Build a community with people who you resonate with. If everybody comes together, we're gonna grow. You understand? Again, if you haven't, if you're not part of a community, you can join the community that's already there. We've got a Patreon, we've got a Discord group, we're like-minded people talking about self-improving, helping each other physically, mentally, spiritually, financially. You know, you have a better chance. If you have no knowledge of working out, it's going to be difficult for you to get to a good stage. But if you speak to someone who has a high level of working out and diet and that, you're saving yourself years, you know? So you don't need to go through the struggle when there's someone already been through the struggle and they can tell you the quicker way you're out. So community is very important. Start socializing. 
Even if it's once in a month, once every two months, make it part of your routine. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit the red subscribe button. Also leave a comment down below on what video you want to see next or what you got or what you want to add to the video and keep working on yourself.